Hey everybody, this is Nick with Akai Professional. Today I'm going to show you how you can access VIP and how to set up your MPK Mini Mark II in the software. I'll also go over adding VST plugins to VIP so you can use the instruments that are included with your MPK as well as some basic functionality of VIP to get you started. Let's check it out. If you don't already have an account at the Akai Pro website, let's create one now. If you do already have an account, log in. To create an account, enter your first and last name, email address, a password for your account, and check the recapture box. Then click Create Account. Once you're logged in, select My Account and choose Register a Product. Select the MPK you're using in the drop down menu, enter the serial number exactly as it appears on the white barcode label, including the 21 in parentheses, select the date on which you purchased the MPK and click register my product. When you've completed that, you'll be brought to a new page that shows the products you've registered to your account. Scroll down to VIP in this menu, copy the software coupon code, and click get your copy now. You'll be taken to a new website in which you can enter the coupon code and download VIP at no cost. At the upper right of this page, find the coupon code field, paste the code here, and click apply you'll see an indication that your order is now free. Click place your order to proceed. A payment information window will appear. You will not need to enter any credit card information, only your name, email, billing address, and phone number. Click place your order once you've finished filling out the form. The next page will provide a link so you can download VIP. We'll use this 30 digit code on the page to authorize VIP shortly. So take a second to copy it and paste it onto a notepad or sticky note document. When VIP is downloaded, return to your Akai Pro account to get a VST instrument to add to VIP. Let's download Hybrid as an example. Expand the included software menu, scroll down to Hybrid, and download it for your computer's operating system. Once Hybrid is downloaded, copy the software authorization code from your account. We'll use this to authorize the software on your computer. To authorize the software, we'll use the iLock License Manager. If you do not have the iLock License Manager software on your computer, you can visit www.iloc.com to download it. Sign into your iLock account in the License Manager software. Select the Licenses menu and choose Redeem Authorization Code. Paste the authorization code for Hybrid from your Akai Pro account into the fields that appear. A valid code will display green check marks under each field. Click Next. Select a location to which the software will be activated. In this case, I'm going to authorize the computer I'm using, but you can add a license to a physical iLock key or simply store it in your account for later use. Select the device you want to authorize and click Activate. iLock will indicate that the authorization was successful and you will see it added to the software. Next, let's install Hybrid. Open the location to which your downloads go and run the Hybrid installer. Click through the installer, enter your password if you're prompted, and it will indicate when it's completed. Once Hybrid is authorized and installed, let's also authorize and install VIP. Return to the iLock License Manager software, select Redeem Authorization Code, paste in the code, and add the license to your preferred device. When VIP is authorized, let's install it. Open the location to which your downloads go and run the VIP installer. Click through the installer and enter your password if you're prompted. The installer will indicate when the process is complete. Connect your MPK to a USB port on your computer now. The first time you launch VIP, you'll be prompted to select the controller that you're using. Select MPK Mini Mark II in this menu and click the arrow button to proceed. VIP will now scan your computer for plugin maps to add to its library. When that process completes, you'll be at the main VIP window. It will look pretty empty at this point, but once we add instruments to it, this menu will look populated with lots of information that will make browsing plugins simple. Before we add Hybrid to VIP, let's select the MPK as a MIDI input device for VIP. Click Settings and select Audio MIDI Settings. The MPK will be available as a MIDI input device in this menu.
put a check mark next to its entry in the active MIDI input section. You can also use this menu to select your input and output device. In this case, I'm using the computer's built-in I.O., but if you're using an audio interface, select its input and output here. You can open the MIDI Learn menu at the upper right to check the MIDI map that is currently selected in VIP. You can see that the MPK Mini is currently selected, but you can open the drop-down menu to select a different map from the factory settings category, or add your own user bank once you've made some custom assignments. For now, I'll turn MIDI Learn mode off so we can add hybrid to VIP. From the settings menu, select Plugin Manager. There are two available directories for you to assign to the Plugin Folders section. Use Plugin Folders to select the directories on your computer in which you store VST plugins. When you've chosen the directories, click Scan, and VIP will look inside those directories to add any VST plugins that are contained within. Notice that VIP found Hybrid and its maps. Maps are enabled in VIP with this button at the right, and the plugin itself is enabled for VIP with this button at the left. Click OK, and the maps will be imported into VIP. After the maps have been imported into VIP, you'll notice it's already starting to look a little different. Select the instrument you want to use in the plugin column, and its imported patches will appear in the list at the left. You can use that list to browse patches or narrow down your search by selecting tags in the columns to the right of the plugin column. With the MPK's MIDI map selected in VIP, its knobs will automatically affect the parameters in the plugin you select. You can use the knobs to alter the sound of the instrument to your liking. One of VIP's best features is multis. Multis will allow you to layer plugins together and mix them to create a unique instrument. Multis can be as simple or as complex as you like. To start building a multi, open the multi menu and simply drag patches into the slots. You can use a maximum of 8 patches per multi. Each slot has its own bus for dialing in effect plugins that you've added to VIP. Patches can be added from any instrument that you've added to VIP. A multi does not need to exclusively use one plugin's patches. We touched upon the MIDI Learn menu briefly, but let's take a closer look at that now. Enable MIDI Learn mode with the icon at the upper right. Parameters highlighted in orange can be assigned to incoming MIDI CCs from a MIDI controller. Here I'm assigning MIDI CCs coming from the MPK's pads to the patch up and down buttons. With the MPK's pads in CC mode, I can use the two pads I assigned to step through patches in the browser. Since we're using the MPK's factory map, the knobs are already assigned, but they can be reassigned however you like when MIDI Learn is active. Click a knob and it will start to flash, indicating that it's ready to receive a MIDI CC. The different control banks can all be mapped to unique MIDI CCs. Use the mode field at the lower left to tell VIP what type of controller you're mapping. If you want to make a custom MIDI map, select the plus icon in the MIDI Learn mode and add a new mapping. Here I'm assigning the MPK's knobs to parameters in VIP. Notice that the knobs are kind of jumping around a little bit. If a parameter is behaving incorrectly, be sure to specify what type of controller it is with the mode field when MIDI Learn is active so they'll behave as expected. Another great function in VIP is its key control, which will allow you to harmonize the note input of your MIDI controller. You can enable key control with the keyboard icon at the upper right of the screen. Notes can be quantized to a specific scale, harmonized by scale, or used to trigger chords. Let's use progressions to trigger some chords now. Here I'm specifying the genre and family of chords I want to use. I can pick a key in which I want to play, as well as transpose octaves. The start note will determine the note on which chords will begin to be triggered. For now I'll keep it at C-2 and use the lowest register on the keyboard to trigger chords. But if you wanted to play chords and improvise over it at a higher register, you could select a higher start note. The articulation menu will allow you to view the chords you've selected, as well as fine tune the behavior of how chords are triggered. If we open VIP's keyboard, we can see that the notes that make up these chords are being played. The last thing I want to show you in VIP is its setlist mode. Set lists are great if you're going to use your computer during performance, as they will allow you to quickly select patches you're going to use in the performance. Create a new set list with the plus button and name it. 
Now you can simply drag patches into the slots in the set list. Notice that the parameters at the bottom of VIP will change depending on what patch is selected in the set list. VIP responds to program change messages by stepping through the patches in a set list. The program change number you send will select the corresponding patch slot in a set list. Here I'm using the MPK's pads in program change mode to send messages to VIP and change patches in the set list. Set list patches can be triggered in any mode in VIP, so you do not need to be looking at the set list to change patches. That should help you get started using your MPK with VIP. Be sure to check the link in the video description for more popular guides and tutorials. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.